Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on General Writing Task 1. One of the most important tasks of IELTS letter writing is to decide on the tone of your letter. There are two options, formal and informal. If you get this wrong, you'll get a low score for task achievement, which makes up 25% of the total mark. This lesson will help to ensure that you get it right. The tone is determined by the person you are writing to. If you're writing to someone you don't know or don't know well, use a formal tone. If you're writing to a friend, use an informal tone. You'll use different language and a different style of writing, depending on who you're addressing. Follow this rule and you won't go wrong. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. If the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. The only exception is if the letter is to a close family member, when you would also use an informal tone. But these are not common. Occasionally students get confused by a letter that's to a friend, but of a serious nature, such as informing them of a sad event. You would still use an informal tone, but choose appropriate language to fit the situation. Tone is never determined by the topic of the letter, only who it's written to. We'll look at some examples in a minute, but first I want to talk about the semi-formal tone. Students are often taught to use a third letter writing style, the semi-formal tone. If you're already familiar with it, and can use it correctly, then that's fine. However, my advice is to use only a formal or informal tone as appropriate. I believe in keeping things simple and having a third style option only complicates matters. You could argue for the use of a semi-formal tone when writing to a colleague or manager you are friendly with. However, for your letter writing test, assume that they are not friends and write a letter in the professional style, that is, an informal tone. The other situation that can be confusing is where the person you have to write to is a neighbour. Again, you can assume that you do not know them very well and keep the letter formal. If you follow the rule of only writing an informal letter when the question contains the word friend, you'll be fine. So, let's look at some sample questions and decide which tone and style we should use for each. Pause the video and read through the four questions on this slide and the next. Decide whether you would write a formal or informal letter for each one. Here are the answers. Questions 1 and 4 require formal letters, as they are written to people you do not know, that is, an accommodation officer and an event organiser. Questions 2 and 3 require informal letters, as they are written to friends. To end this short lesson, here are two sample letters, one formal, the other informal. Pause the video and read through them to get a feel for the language, tone and style used in each. You can see step-by-step -step instructions on how each of these letters was planned and written in the lessons on how to write formal and informal letters. You'll find links to these lessons in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.